Good morning, my fellow men, brothers, walking this spiritual journey with me. Retaining your seed. Today's October 9th, 2023. Guys, one day away from one year. And tomorrow I'll have a special video about what happened to me after one year of semen retention. But today we're going to cover laziness and materialism. That's why we're looking at this Corvette here, guys. And I'll tell you why in a minute. But in the description of this video, there's two videos I made regarding materialism or, uh, yeah, materialism and laziness. I believe it's titled Laziness and Becoming a Minimalist and also Setting Goals. I made some goals in January of the new year, this year. So we're going to cover those after one year of semen retention. And those videos were made. You can go and listen to them if you want. But we're going to talk about first minimalism and materialism, what happened to me this year. So guys, in 2021, I bought a... 2003 Chevrolet Corvette convertible, just like you see in the picture. Mine looked exactly like that. Convertible, six-speed transmission, same color, 50th anniversary. <clears throat> Took out a loan on it, guys. Got a good interest rate. It seemed like the right thing to do. I guess I was going through my... I was 51 at the time, so going through my midlife crisis with all guys... <laughs> tend to go out, older guys tend to go out and buy Corvettes or something else. Anyways, just to keep this video short, guys, I ended up selling it after I started my semen retention journey. Uh, January rolled around and I started writing goals down. But I ended up selling it, guys, because... I lost the desire for this vehicle after starting my semen retention journey. Don't know why, I just did. And I wanted to become a minimalist, guys. I started getting rid of things that were in the closet, in the garage, that I just didn't need anymore, that weren't being used. And I've been doing this all year, and I'm pretty much down to almost a minimalist now and feels good guys I literally gave away thousands of dollars worth of things but I wasn't using them and when I got rid of them it felt like I got rid of clutter out of my mind or my soul also guys I was no longer lazy after I started my semen retention journey you have more energy you're not giving yourself to lust spending hours looking at dirty images or videos and you just have more energy and so i started working harder at my main career and also my secondary side gig uber eats deliveries so in january i wrote goals down And number one was to do God's will. Number two was to excel at my main sales career and Uber Eats delivery side gig. Number three was to max the 401k. Number four was to pay off the Chevy Volt I purchased to do these Uber Eats deliveries. And I'm telling you, I have paid that Volt off. I had a $6,800 balance. It's been paid off, guys. As far as maxing the 401k, I'm not sure if that's going to happen, but we're getting, it's close, so that's good. Number five was diet workout and to reverse my diabetes. And as I was dieting and working out, I came across fasting. And I've made several videos on that. We won't go into it. But as far as reversing the diabetes, I have not yet. It takes uh, years to reverse diabetes. 
I realized. But the positive good news is, is I have lost weight and reduced fat and reduced my blood sugar levels, guys. The sixth goal was to do semen retention for, for, for one year. Well, tomorrow's one year, so I will accomplish that goal and uh, keep on going. Number seven, defeat, anger, and envy. <clears throat> I believe we can never de really defeat those. Those will pop up in your life, but I have gotten better control over those guys. And number eight, produce content on YouTube for other men and, and let the Lord use me as a messenger so other men can be edified and encouraged through my experiences and mistakes. And I believe I am at least doing that for some people. I know I'm not a huge channel with thousands of views. I know, you know, there's some guys out there that get, you know, thousands of views on a video. I can get 20 to, if I get 100, that's doing well. But hey, God will put a listener on my podcast and he works in mysterious ways and so if I can produce content and he wants someone to hear it they will hear it so guys we'll keep this video short in conclusion I've hit most of my goals so you can we can say that semen retention has led me to not desire materialistic things. I sold the Corvette. I bought a Chevy Volt, which is a very economical, cheap, easy to maintain vehicle. And got rid of the Corvette. I've hit most of my goals here. And I've defeated laziness, which is slothfulness. So guys, let's conclude this video by talking about some of these things. I'm not going to read these verses to you, but I'm just going to give them to you if you want to read them on your own. Proverbs 13 verse 4. Proverbs 10 verse 4. Proverbs 18, verse 9. Actually, guys, I think I do want to read at least one or two for you guys. So let me pull up those verses here. Let's go to Proverbs. It's in the Old Testament, guys, Proverbs. And we will go to... Chapter 10, verse 4, lazy people are soon poor, hard workers get rich. Chapter 12, let's go to Proverbs 12, verse 24, guys, says, work hard and become a leader, be lazy and become a slave. Hmm. Let's go to chapter 13. Verse 4 says, Lazy people want much, but get little. But those who work hard will prosper. Okay. Let's go to chapter 14 in Proverbs. We're still in Proverbs. Verse 23 says, Work brings profit, but mere, mere talk leads to poverty. Okay. Guys, there's a lot of other proverbs on laziness, but like chapter 21, verse 25, chapter 20, verse 4, chapter 19, verse 15, chapter 20, verse 13. But let's talk about materialism, guys. If we go to the New Testament and we go to the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 19 to 21, guys says, verse 19, don't store up treasures here on earth where moths eat them and rust destroys them and where thieves break in and steal. 
Store your treasures in heaven where moths, moths and rust cannot destroy, and thieves do not break in and, and steal. Wherever your treasure is, there the desires of your heart will also be. If we go to the book of Luke, chapter 12, verse 15, Luke says, or Jesus says, Beware, guard against every kind of greed. Life is not measured by how much you own. So guys, it's not about how much you own. And it's not about how much treasure you have on earth. It's your spiritual treasure, guys. That's it, guys. You have a great day. We will talk to you tomorrow on the one-year anniversary. I've got a special video on that.